online and all those who couldn't be here but are still joining us online. Praise God. It's always good to see everybody in the house of the Lord. It always feels like I'm going to tip over because everybody sits on this side. <laughs> that side's empty. It only has four people over there. That's okay, though. Huh? It's for special people. Okay. <laughs> that's saved for the, that's the good seats over there, just so you know. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Well, <laughs> today we're blessed because Dee is with us. <laughs> and we're blessed because she's with us during the sermon. But we're also blessed because she's going to bring in the ladies' nuggets. <laughs> so Dee, come on up here, grab your microphone, and tell us what is on your heart. All right. The first scripture is John 10, 27 that Delilah gave us. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. So let's dive in to who are the sheep. How does he know them and how do they follow him? Now I've got quite a few scriptures here that we're just going to read through because I like to let scripture make my point and not my own interpretation of them. And as Pastor Dwayne always says, you'll be okay. <laughs> John 6.39 Now this is the will of the one who sent me, that I lose not of one of all he has given me, but raise each one on the last day. John 6, 44. No one comes to me unless my Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. Luke 10, 20. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not, the spirits are not subject unto that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Matthew twenty two fourteen. For many are called, but few are chosen. So who are these chosen? Well the chosen are his sheep that hear his voice. And that takes us back to John 10, 27. The sheep that hear his voice are the chosen. And they follow. They don't just hear, they follow. Because once you're chosen, how do you follow? First John 2, 3 and 4. And by this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that says I know him and keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Matthew 7, 2. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that do the will of my Father in heaven. So we see to follow Jesus is to do the will of the Father in heaven. John 15, 16 and 17. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. Now, 1 John 3, the whole chapter tells us uh, who are his sheep, 
and how to follow Jesus. But for time's sake, I'm not going to read you the whole chapter, but I encourage everyone to go home today and read the whole chapter of 1 John 3. But I will read a few scriptures, John 3 and 4. Sin is lawlessness. 1 John 3, 23 and 24. And this is his commandment. I gotta get down to you see. That we believe in the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another just as he commanded us. Whoever his commandments abide in God and God in him, and by this that we know that he abides in us by the spirit whom he has given us. So you can believe in that not being a sheep. Uh, the sheep believe in Yeshua. They love one another and keep his commandments. They hear his voice and he knows us because he walks as he walked, believing in the Lord and his promises, believing in Yeshua, loving one another and following his commands. Now you can believe and you can follow his commands, but if you have not love, you do not know God. So to be his sheep, to hear his voice, and to be raised on the last day, you must believe in Yeshua. You must believe in God's promises. You must follow his commandments. And you must walk with his love in your heart towards others. You cannot leave one of these out. Because we know the Bible tells us if he does not have love in his heart and for his brother, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. And the sheep worship in spirit and truth so we need the truth of his love in our heart and we express it we don't hold it we express it we follow as yeshua did yeshua withheld nothing and we are to withhold nothing that the lord gives us we are to share it now matthew 4 4 is our next scripture she gave us But he answered, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Go to Deuteronomy. This one's easy. It won't take me long to get through this one. Deuteronomy 8, 3. And he humbled you and let you hunger. And he fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Every word. They did not go away at the cross. They are still important today because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so every word, that is from Genesis to Revelations is still standing today and still permanent, should be permanent in our life and in our daily walk. Deuteronomy 11.1 1. You shall therefore love the Lord your God and keep his charge, his statutes, his rules, and his commandments always always so we can see how John 10 27 and Matthew 4 4 tie together his sheep know Jesus and the one who sent him and they that are chosen follow him the word made flesh and what is the word to love God love one another Follow his commandments as Deuteronomy 11, 1 states. And by doing so, we will bear fruit for the kingdom of God. 
Without these things, you will not bear righteous fruit. Because there will be those that say, Lord, Lord, didn't we do all these things in your name? And he says, get away from me. I never knew you. Because they're missing some steps here. They're missing some steps in their walk. If you want to bear righteous fruit for his kingdom and his glory, don't miss these steps. And I'm going to close it out with John 15. 5 and 8 in the whole John 15 is really good too. So I encourage you to go home and read all of that. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he is that that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burn. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, his words, what are his words? Deuteronomy. Those are his words. If, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified. This is how we glorify God, that you may bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples or my sheep. So let us all walk in spirit and truth. Let us all hear his voice and let us all walk in believing, not doubting, and loving one another and following his commandments. And it's that simple. It's not difficult. It's easy. Because when you get filled with the Spirit of God and that comforts you, that Holy Spirit is our comforter, he's our teacher, he's our leader, and he will lead you unto all truth. You just have to be open to receive it. And how do you open to receive it? With that agape love in your heart. And that's why I believe we bear so much fruit, each one of us in our lives, is because we are all filled with that agape love, which is present. Uh, you can feel it. It's palatable when we all come together. And there's not nothing one of us wouldn't do for the other. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt in my mind I can't call any of y'all. And y'all would be there for me in love, in pure love. And this is what it's all about. Amen. So if you want to bear fruit for the kingdom, believe, walk in his love, and follow his commandments, and you will be successful for his glory and his kingdom.